What's up guys? This is Blake McClain here from McClain Modding, giving you guys a farming simulator uh, a modding video. We're not really doing a tutorial today, but I mean, I guess you could watch, you know, um, if you know the basics of like Giants Editor, you can kind of follow along. But uh, anyway, today we are going to be building our truck. We have a 1998 GMC Sierra. And we are going to be uh, putting it in game so that we can use it. So what we're going to do is, I believe we ha we do have this folder. And um, I'm going to go ahead and drag it in there. i got to close it and all the programs I have it opened in. Try again. There we go. And what we're gonna go ahead and do is X out all of these because we don't need these. Um, and we're going to open another file explorer tab. Go to the mod we're going to put this over, which is our farm Cummings copy paste. Once it pastes, I'm going to rename it. G. Uh, this is a Chevy, actually. <coughs> actually, this. <coughs> Man, shoot, this is a GMC, I think. Hang on, let me take a quick because I just set up on the wheels uh, Chevy textures and I don't I think it is a GMC because I named everything GMC oh shoot and we put Chevy and so that's okay what we're gonna do is um, come into the file what did I do here it is and it's about open the txt where is it here it is image so dj um desktop and where is that folder here We're going to do. <coughs> Whoa, sorry about that. Is um, <clears throat> we are going to go into the file. Not that file. This file. Open it and paint that in there. I'll move. I'll move uh, this back over here. And we'll go to file. Save as .dbs, desktop again, where is it, here it is, okay, so we do want to replace it, okay, X it out, complete that now, rename this, GMC, Underscore Sierra twenty five hundred. Enter. And we're gonna go ahead and drag it into here. Open this up. And Giants Editor. And import the model. is this I'm gonna go ahead and delete these and I'm gonna cut and paste that into there go into the edit camera I need to rotate that to zero rotate mine that X 
GMC closer to my Dodge sets. And delete the Dodge. Mm. Actually, oh shoot, mm. that's all right, we'll fix, we're going to go ahead and uh, into here and fix what I just did, moving tools, I'm going to get rid of these, because these are the, these, I believe these would be the hood and the, um, the tailgate, and we just deleted that. So we just want to make sure that's clear out of the XML. Make sure we want to get rid of all of these. Come back in here because, yeah, that was us. And we'll make this visible again. And um, we're gonna leave. We're gonna actually pull this up a bit. And uh, let's go ahead and take care of the uh, the wheels. Place them in here. First, what we're gonna do is set these up for this truck. Put that up to be a little higher. I don't want this to sit super low, but I think that's a good height. And, uh, yes, so. This will sit just like that, but we need to make sure that is lined up with that wheel. Then we're going to fix the back ones. I think that's about good. Make sure that this side is even with this side. And then we'll go ahead and start setting up the wheels. Like that. Actually, this one is going to go in here. Yeah. We'll set all these to zero. <coughs> We're going to pretty much do the same. Translations here. Actually, that's way too big. Yes? Sorry about that. Eight. It's still way big. I think that'll. Still need to go down a size. I think that's good. I actually want to get rid of that. So we can kind of size it. One, one, that's one. I don't like that. Something here is messed up. I'm just now noticing it. All the other wheels look good. No. But why? They're all set to the same. What do we do? I honestly don't know what messed up there. But 
believe that piece. Anyway, we'll go ahead and do that. This wheel. Yeah. I don't know where I go wrong with that. Let's set these to zero. That solar kit's fine. Because if we left it like that, then it was going to be all wonky in game. I'll be back guys, I gotta figure this out. Okay guys, I'm back. We're just gonna roll with the wheels that the chef or the GMC has on it right now until we can kind of figure out what the heck that was. Oh let me actually paste that. It's not doing it today. This wheel. I hope. Oh that's fine. Okay. That was really weird. I don't know what that was. Now it's fixed at least. Come back up here to this one. And we'll just leave those wheels on it. So we're gonna go ahead and um leave the wheels alone. What we are going to do though is uh mess with the cameras, so and our camera. We're gonna move this over a bit. A little bit. There. I wanna get it like nice and centered. I'm actually going to turn down that. We're going to go ahead and fix this. So that that is not messed up. Outdoor camera. Leave it there. Light camera. Okay, uh, now that's all taken care of. To make sure it's about right. Now let's do lights. Uh, we're gonna get rid of all these and up so that is that transition is that up that up and we're gonna duplicate that again and tweak that rotation there we go and then we want this rotation actually or translation and we only want that little bit control d and then control v we're gonna have 
move it out a bit. I should guess that's fine. Now we're gonna come back over here. There. Control D. And that's actually pretty good. There and put that off to the side. Good. Put that up there. And D and put that up there. And then let's take care of the red lights in the back. Fix that to that. And I believe then I'll turn that like that how we want. And and delete that. And there's, I guess that's a brake light. Which that's all right. <clears throat> that's exactly what that is. So we're gonna do with this. Set that right there. And we'll set that to there as well. Zoom out, that up, so it's a brake light, okay, now we want to make that right there, steering brakes, we gotta do it this way, so we can align it as best as possible with this wheel. Actually, we're going to have to go ahead, make sure his right hand is red, his left hand is there, and that make that invisible again. <coughs> Try the collision tray here. There. <clears throat> and guys, sorry about my voice. I'm still a little sick. That's why I haven't uploaded in the past couple of days. Um, but I do hope that you guys are enjoying the truck. I'm getting a lot of views on that video, which is very exciting. So uh, thank you guys very much. And, you know, the more views I get on the videos, that's the more money that I get to put into models for you guys, which... That car trailer, you know, that's money that I made from you guys watching the videos. You know, I get paid from YouTube every month. But yeah, thank you guys very much for that. So, like that. And then, need to be like that. Gotta be like the wheel. Make sure put that out a bit. Okay. Go to the front of this. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and put two there. And do the same thing over here. This one there. Okay, right there, there we go. 
mirrors. Let's go ahead and take care of this. Because what we'll do is get them in here. And they don't even work. But eventually I'm going to try to. Like, because, like, they never work when I set them up for some reason. I don't know if it's because this is converted. This truck model mod that I use is probably converted from uh, 15. The base mod, rather. I like to set it up so that, you know, you can, I don't care if it aligns up with the mirror. I care that you can see what's going on behind you. So if I'm towing a trailer, you know, you get me. I'll move that a bit. Where is that exit point? Wanna adjust this a hitch? And you may be wondering why I don't have dirt, or not dirt, uh, cube map on here it's because i'm gonna be adding dirt and really it's a new cube map it's it's like a, it's a truck you know i'm i'm kind of tired of putting cube map on everything that i make because it doesn't look as good because with the cube map we have trucks it makes it look like a big chrome like a big piece of chrome it's not Literally, but it makes it look way too shiny. I don't like that. Move that up. It's pretty good. So, with this truck, this is probably going to be a work in progress for a while. So I'm probably going to have some tutorials on this truck. So I do hope that, you know, that's something you guys will enjoy. I'm going to size this down. Actually, we're going to put this to like that. Size this way down. Zero point three. I think point six is plenty. Actually, let's try point point five. Rather, that's like pretty much perfect. I'm gonna make this smaller. Point five. That up a bit. 55. That gives us room. What I'm going to go ahead and do is delete that one. Make a new rat. Move up. And I'm just going to set it over. <coughs> sorry about that again. I'm sorry, guys. I really do wish I had a controller right now. And for gooseneck hitch, we don't actually have a ball right now. Let's go ahead and actually what I just realized is on these here trucks, this part this should not be chrome. It would normally be the color of the body. Whatever, it's okay, but I just think it's kind of funny. I'm going to go ahead and apply the dirt now. Um, you might as well give us the dirt texture, respect it. I think this, uh, 
but this mod has dirt in it. <clears throat> I'm actually probably going to make this truck color changeable now that I think about it. Um, maybe in shaders. That's the normal texture. Looking for specular. Believe that's gonna be in here. It's probably gonna be maybe in here, here, and specular. Let's do this. Come back in here. That gives us a nice, you know, okay, nice, okay. Thing. We're gonna add normal. Just make sure that, that that's right there. And then we're gonna add actually I wanna save this just in case something messes up. Cause that would be really bad if uh we lost everything. It's not there. I think it might be in right here. There's new textures. Okay. What we're gonna do? So I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab it. All right, guys. So I did figure it out. And we don't need that. I already did have the files. And if I remember correctly, it's this one. And then we want to scroll down and make this PDFs. In there. I'm gonna do the same thing with the uh, body. I'm gonna go ahead and add the specular, which is, I think, and no, I don't remember where we got it. Let's see, shaders. Actually, it might be in here. Um, it's in here, that's right. Specular PDFs. Made it look kind of goofy. Fix shade. No, this is in the shaders. Yes. We want. PDFs. Shit, that doesn't make a difference, but I'm stubborn. So yeah. Then we'll do that to this as well. Specular. Now I remember where to get it. I think. <coughs> you always want these speed EDSs. PNGs kind of makes it look uh, we're gonna make the, this get dirty so I'll be back when we're done get, putting all the dirt on alright guys I'm back and I think I got um well I know I got all the dirt uh, together but um 
and I'm not 100% sure, but I think that I got uh, all of the color selectable stuff to work. So we're going to go ahead and test it in game. And um, we're actually going to go to the outdoor camera. Save. Well, actually, what we need to do is come in here and down to the store info and fix this up. GMC Sierra 2500. Just gonna copy that, paste it. Want this to be G. Oh wait, no, 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 no. No. See, you were that weird language. I think it's German. This is kind of ugh. This is a GMC 2500 made by McLean Modern. Okay, look up here. My name's already up there. Okay, perfect. We'll save it. And we're gonna, uh, we're gonna come back when we're in game. So yeah. <coughs> 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 Alright guys, so I'm back here with the uh, GMC. And um, we do have the dirt working. I went around and, you know, I just got this thing dirty it's 100 percent dirty now and um here i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that the uh color selectable also works we'll go ahead and buy that so we'll buy that too and um as you guys can see yeah the wheels are dirty i know um and i'm gonna look into fixing that but uh anyway guys yeah so that's it for this video. Uh, let's go ahead and save the game. And uh, yeah guys, so I hope you guys did enjoy. And um, peace. I heard you talking shit, now I'm fired up.